So I was talking to this guy on Tinder for a long time. We were like talking on and off for probably like eight months. I had a sorority function. I asked him to come and I really liked him, like really good energy. So we went to this club. We didn't even drink. We were just like clicked immediately. And he slept on my couch that first night because I didn't want him to go back and take the bus back. He literally didn't leave for the next four days. On the last day, I was like, okay, actually, like, I need to go to school. Like, <laughs> you need to leave. I'm very insecure in my body, and I've always have been just growing up, but I was so free with him. I'd say we would, like, shower together. It wasn't like, oh, let's shower sex. I had no issues. Like, I didn't think he was, like, looking at my body. Like, I felt like he could see me. And I just, it happened so quickly that I was like, my body didn't catch up to my soul type deal. We were kind of like that for about five months. We haven't talked about exclusivity after five months of being like that. Weeks went by and I just finally asked him, can we talk about what this is? He said, I have really strong feelings for you, but I don't want to be in a relationship, but I have been exclusive since day one. And so I was like, okay, well, two things. So as long as you can tell me the moment you want to be exclusive with me, let me know. And the moment you realize that you never want to be in a relationship, you also have to tell me. He said, okay, two weeks went by. I didn't get why he didn't want to be <laughs> in a labeled relationship with me. So I confronted him and I said, I can't do this. And I don't understand why you can't take on a label with me. We would be doing the exact same thing we're doing now. Just I'd be able to call you my boyfriend. And I want to do that because at that point I was in love with him. We broke up and it took me about two days to have a drunk night with girlfriends to call him and say, okay, I don't fucking understand you. I went home after calling him and we went into like a texting battle where I was asking, I don't like, what's the real reason? Because this is bullshit. He texted me back words that will forever be scarred in my head. He said, you're not attractive enough, you're not fit enough, and the way you eat bothers me. It's like, <laughs> you're watching me eat? You see only my body. I'll never forget those messages because they were so specific. I just cried for days. And I didn't respond. Like I grew up thinking that I was like always overweight. Losing someone you love because you're overweight, that was like probably my biggest fear, which is irrational. So I blocked him on Instagram, his phone number, on Facebook. I just wanted him gone. And so I didn't hear from him for probably three months until I made a new Instagram and he direct messaged me. He just was like, taste, taste. Hi, 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 hi. There's probably like 15 messages of me not responding. And I decided to respond and I laid it out. You didn't know my past with my weight issues. Like in high school, I was bulimic. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to fat camp. And you shouldn't treat someone that you're not in love with like that, let alone someone who you spent almost every day with for six months. And I told, I, I said, I forgive you. I'm actually glad it happened because it, it showed me my strength and that I actually made a stand for me. I'm kind of proud of that. It's been two years. I keep thinking about if I see him on the streets, what would I say? Part of me wants to hug him and tell him I miss him. Another part of me wants to not look at his face. Just keep walking. I honestly don't know what I'd do.